more beautiful than I thought it would ever be. <laughs> Can you describe what it looks like? Well. Moments ago, as the eclipse was suddenly in, the uh, image in my high dollar viewer of the eclipse looked like a small fava bean. And now, it looks like a, uh, a uh, small shrimp that you might find in a can for about $1.79. And now, it looks like a Now it looks like okay. croissant. Oh, la, la. Oh, oh wait, it is again. You can't see it. You can't see it because we have because the eclipse is happening. Don't move. Don't worry, little shaver. The oh, there it is. Now it's back. Ah, there it is. See ya. God, what a beautiful sight. I'm gonna try to use the boundary box. Hold this here, hold this here. That was great. Let's do it again in seven years. Well, that was it. Uh, seeing that we're in Boston, we won't get as much of a image like you see like on TV of the eclipse. So, oops. But uh, I thought it would just kind of be fun just to film it as uh, what it's like uh, here in Boston, or in this case, West Roxbury. So, um, we were able to see it earlier in the homemade solar eclipse devices. Uh, the best I could describe it, in some instances, it looked like a, a fingernail. To me, it looked like a, a Twitter bird, but, uh, but you know, at least we we're able to, to see, see document it for posterity that we were outside when it happened. Although it's not as, uh, as um, apparent like you see on the news coverage where it turns cold dark, but at least you can see that it got a little shadowy. So, anyway, that's it. Shut up, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.